and developing now a violent and deadly crash in central Broward. A 19-year-old now facing charges accused of speeding in his Tesla and T-boning another car. Now witnesses are telling us the suspect was being chased by BSO deputies at the time. Crime specialist Bridget Matter joining us now live with the latest on the investigation. Bridget. Louis, BSO has not told us yet if their deputies were pursuing a car. They tell us that it's under investigation. What we do know is, according to them, a 19-year-old was speeding and hit another vehicle. And because of that, two women are dead. Now he is facing charges. We're going to tape all, all this off. Well, two women are dead after a speeding driver slammed into them off Northwest 6th Street near Fort Lauderdale. It happened Sunday. The Broward County Sheriff's Office says 19 year old Gavin Dorville was driving this white Tesla when he T boned a Dodge Durango. The driver and passenger, Lisa Jackson and Geraldine Francis, were killed. A child was also critically injured. The crash caused the Durango to hit another car that flipped. We helped him. We the one who got him out the car. She had no pulse and I just went through. I still I was praying with her. Tremaine Simpson and others did what they could to try and help the people involved in the crash. Several witnesses believe the Tesla was being chased by BSO deputies. You felt the wind like pass you as a car going by fast. It was like boom, boom, boom after that. I seen a high speed chase, but no lights, no sirens. Where's the paramedic? We asked the sheriff's office about a possible pursuit, and it says there is an investigation into whether deputies were chasing Dorville. In a follow-up email, BSO says two Broward Sheriff's Office deputies have been placed on restricted administrative assignment as the internal affairs review proceeds. A firearm was found at the crash site. Police believe it was in the car Dorville was driving. Local 10 has learned Dorville was arrested by Davy police a few weeks ago. According to an arrest report, Dorville ran from a traffic stop. When police caught him, officers say he had a stolen gun stuffed in his pants. The teen is facing two counts of vehicular homicide and reckless driving causing serious injury. So BSO did send us uh, 16 pages of their pursuit policies and guidelines. While we don't know yet if this was a pursuit, there are only a few reasons that their deputies can give chase. One of those is if they believe someone has committed a forcible felony, there's a security breach, or if a deputy believes the pursuit is needed to prevent serious injury or death. So more to come on this. For now, we're live outside of BSO headquarters. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News.